All right, what's up, guys? It's your main Wing Drops. I'm here at Yokohama Ieki Ramen in Fremont. Um, I forgot who recommended this to me, but it was on my Yelp list, so someone must have recommended it to me. Um, but I'm finally trying it. Let's get into it. This is the number one, the spicy ramen here. Uh, according to Michael, the translation was hell spicy or something like that. Um, I got it at the lowest spice level, the A, beginner spicy. So let's see how it is. So first of all, let's look at these thick pork chashus. They are like the, some of the thickest porks I've ever gotten in a ramen. We got the noodles here. We got I got mine um, stiff. stiff, yeah. Um, and then it looks like they got uh, some spinach here. Interesting vegetable choice. Some bean sprouts for seasoning. Some bamboo shoots. An egg. My egg looks kind of jank actually, but we'll see how it is. All right, let's get into it. That's pretty good actually. The ramen noodles are, you know, stiff as advertised. They're nice and long, tasty. The ramen broth, it is spicy. It is hitting me, but it's not like that spicy. I would say it's a little bit spicier than like a shin ramen, you know, uh, instant noodle pack. It's not that spicy, but it's enough to, at least for me, to for it to be noticeable. And it's, it's pretty tasty actually. They put a bunch of like these sesame seeds in here as well. I like the spice. It's really good. <sighs> Trying the broth by itself. Oh yeah. Oh, if you hit, drink the broth by itself, the spice hits a lot harder. It's pretty good though. And I'm gonna try some of these veggies. Now it's just uh, some spinach. Let's try. Extra thick chashu pork. Mmm, it's like I'm straight up eating the pork belly from Korean barbecue or something. It's pretty good. Got a nice charred grilled flavor on the outside. And it is pretty decently fatty. Um, and I just love the thick cut. It's like, you know, thick cut bacon or whatever. Pretty good. Last thing I gotta try is the egg. Let's see how it's, how it's cooked. <laughs> Let's get into it. The egg's not the greatest thing here. It's not terrible, but mine isn't super gooey. And the outside looks kind of jank. Pretty hard yeah, pretty much hard boiled. What do you think about your Tsukumen, uh, Michael? It's alright. Alright? It's, it's not really Skamen, actually. Really? Because Skamen's supposed to have like super concentrated broth mm -hmm. for when you dip your noodles in. Mm -hmm. But it's basically just like they took the ramen and separated the broth. <laughs> Deconstructed ramen. Unlucky. <laughs> what about you, Andy? What do you think about their black garlic ramen? Don't really taste the garlic that much, but other than that, the noodles are nice and stiff. And I say this is like the, the chashu's like second batch. Oh, yeah, this chashu here is pretty top tier. That's that's what this place has going for it. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna mess around and give it a four and a four out of five. Um, I I would say I prefer it over Hironori ramen, but you guys already know I'm biased against Hironori ramen. But I would probably still prefer Ipudo or ramen nagi over this. But it's pretty good, especially like pork. I reviewed this off camera earlier. This is the Yuzu Karyage. Pretty good, pretty good. Actually, I think I might like this more than the ramen, but <laughs> I mean, this Karyage is pretty damn good. It's got daikon and everything is drenched in this nice sauce. I'll be enjoying this. All right. Main Man Wing Drops at Yokohama. Uh, quick review. We're done here. Subscribe. Wait, Chris, give me an outro. Subscribe to me the ukulele. Okay. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment. Call the notification bell. Alright, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm my OnlyFans. You can get exclusive content. Bide your time and hold out hope.